Well done to Norwich City. Okay, it's only a point against Man City, but it could be a massive point. This could be the turning point now for Gary O'Neill and Norwich City. Oh, that's Alex O'Neill getting the plays all mixed up. Gotta say, Gary O'Neill, you had a magnificent game, covered the whole length of the pitch, put some vital tackles in, especially on Aguero and Sterling. I mean, look at the stats in the second half. No shots on target for Man City. In the first half, 20 minutes and on, yeah, Man City were all over Norwich, but Norwich somehow survived and then came in their own. And what a brilliant shot from Bamford. Hit the top of the post. <sighs> that would have been an absolutely sensational goal. But they went in half-time, nil-nil. And then Norwich came out in the second half and defended world class. All the tackles were put in, you know, first of the ball, kept the line strong. The zonal marking, man marking was perfect. They never gave up. No mistakes, which is vital. And they got it nil-nil. And this is a team that only Aston Villa have conceded more goals than Norwich. Norwich have conceded over two goals a game, so they need three to win it. Could, honestly, if Norwich defend like this, with the fixtures they got left, they could pull, they could actually get out of this relegation dogfight. I mean, they say there's only four teams in it, but I can tell you now, there are teams, there are going to be teams that are going to drop into the relegation zone. For Man City, well, I think I think John Rod John Woody only made one decent save. Bit toothless there for Man City. We know Pellegrini's going at the end of the season. A new manager is virtually, I think, going to be appointed, hasn't he? Can Man City still win the Premier League title? After that, no chance. What another result for Leicester City. It is now Leicester City's to lose. I mean, they don't play till Monday. And they've got another good result. It's Newcastle at home, a game I expect them to win. And I'll tell you another reason this makes this a magnificent result for Norwich at City. Newcastle have got Benitez. McLaren's been given the old heave ho because he was useless. Could Benitez turn Newcastle around? Now, these are two teams in the relegation zone. One's made a good appointment. Well done, Newcastle. Norwich got a vital win, a vital draw, sorry. Things could be getting very interesting in the relegation zone. Should Sutherland be worried? Yes. Swansea, you know, they're not in the clear yet. So the Crystal Palace are on a rotten vein of form at the moment and are slowly sliding down the table. So you never know how it's going to be or how it's going to end. I've got to say it was a magnificent game. Yes, I do agree. Gary O'Neill, man of the match, because he did cover the whole pitch. Worst player on the field. Now, Wilfred Boney, or Bonney, he's a forward, isn't he? He, was in, he? he was never in the box. He was even, you know, showed on Sky Sports. He, they've got the ball up, they've put the ball in the box, and he's still in midfield when he's supposed to be up front. Useless. <laughs> He used to score goals for Swansea. He ain't scoring them for Man City. Uh, and overall, what a match. Brilliant match. Result of the day, shock result. Five out of five. Pure entertainment. And the Norwich City fans, what a crowd Norwich have got behind them. Can Norwich survive now? If they play like they did today, sort the attack out. Get that sort of that in training. They've got every chance. This could be the turning point for Norwich City. Anyway, thank you very much for watching my video. You can like, you can subscribe. 
and I'll say good afternoon and let's hope for some good FA Cup football.